guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale, really, it's just honestly, no, the series finale of March Comes In Like a Lion. Honestly, I don't want to do this. I really don't, because I really enjoyed this show phenomenously like oh my god and I hate the fact that it's over this is how I kind of felt when I finished Monogosity like Monogosity took me a long ass time but you know I love the journey that I had with that series and I hate the fact that you know even with this show for 44 episodes it went by too quick and I hate that because I'm like bruh like oh my god like it's it just started and such. It's now officially like 10 o'clock at night. I have been busy getting my nails done by my mom. So it took like seven freaking hours. And now officially, because I was really supposed to do this earlier in the day and stuff. But now I'm about to watch it. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 43. And three, two, one, go. This better have a good ending, I swear to God. If this show... No matter what, this show has to end on a high note. This was such a damn good show, and I don't think anything could probably trump it. Maybe, like, if we're talking about shows and I'm watching this, no, um, the only thing that I would say is, like, par with it, besides, like, Monogatari, is, um, that one series I reacted to with the the musical instrument. Yeah, 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 that show. I can't remember the name. The, because all I know now is that a lot of people want me to watch the sequel or, like, the a different version of that show that comes out on Sunday. But your girl is hella busy on Sundays. I mean, not Sundays, Saturdays. So I don't always have time because I already have, as of this weekend, four shows signed up for. And I'm like, I can't only do four shows like I, I would love to do more but I can only do four unless a certain somebody is like oh let me wait until that show was done and then you know as a patreon they're like hey I want you to watch this show that you said you were probably gonna watch I'm like damn <laughs> watch somebody does that <laughs> or I could just make it a patreon and show myself Hmm? Are we at the doctors? Oh, yeah, we're at the doctors. Is it your blood pressure? <laughs> yeah <laughs> and also I think that would cost a little too much I mean unless your insurance covers that uh huh So you gotta be healthy for them until it is your time to go. No. I would love that. But Momo's still a baby. Like, she toddler. Like, no. She punches baby girl. Look at it! <laughs> yeah, you almost be a hundred. Yeah, he might have to refer to you to another doctor, a.k.a. a younger one. <laughs> mm. 
You got this, babe. Everything's gonna be okay. Even the cats! Oh my god! Yeah. Mm hmm. All we gotta do is just hope and pray. Besides, you're not like, you know, your other certain character that you voice, Miss Ichika, you know, who also failed with her other four sisters on certain subjects. But, you know, you still did good. You're doing awesome, baby. That water looks so good. Make you want to just hop in. Like, as someone who barely really likes taking baths, and I, because I'm, I'm a shower girl and stuff, I, I hate, like, as a kid, I used to love it. As an adult now, I'm like, I don't want to sit in my own filth. Like, nah, bro. Unless it's been, like, a real long, tiring day. Leg warmers, it's so cute. That sounds good. Even though I just had, like, what? A veggie burger and some french fries?
no. <laughs> oh. So is it just you and Hina? Uh, of course, she got sick. Mm -mm. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be fine. You can beat this. It's gonna go down, Hina. Everything's gonna. No, don't think what if. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh my god, baby. They would play my favorite song right now. Oh my god, no. You got this, baby. want to make sure you're okay that you get there safely you know be your cheerleader for the day technically he's been her cheerleader like ever since the second half of this series No, baby. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna get way more better than you are now. <laughs> yeah. Please let her do well. Watch over Hina. Let my child do good today, please, I beg you. She needs this.
hotel. Oh, your f favorite foods? Oh, oh, that look good. Mm. Oh my god, you're so young! <laughs> no. Mm, don't uh, don't eat you cannot like man. <laughs> Jesus. You gotta love family members and friends to be like, oh my god, like, yes, eat, like, you did good. Be like, no, 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 I can't eat too much, thank you. they're fine yes they have chemistry like really good chemistry but I don't think maybe Ray possibly sees her like that maybe like a little sister or something but I mean as much as like the little sister thing I mean they're cute together just we'll never forget that the fact is he went to go like see her <laughs> oh, Akati is me I can't. <laughs> yeah, besides, Ray ain't gonna do anything. He, Ray is, he's very well behaved, and I think I li that's why I like him so much. He's not, like, the typical, like, anime protagonist, or specifically male anime protagonist, so, yeah. <laughs> and you take some home too won't be alone.
Mm-hmm. See, now the question is, we only have one episode left, so are we going to see these last two matches? It also makes you wonder if, like, Kyoto, Kyoko and, um, what's his face are going to make an opinion, uh, an appearance in this last episode. Hopefully, kind of really everybody makes an appearance. You had to shoot your shot. You had to make sure everything was going to be okay for her. (sighs) Never forget that day. It was such a hard day. Makes you want to just go and beat the shit out of that girl who bullied her. But she's overcome so much. Like, oh, I'm just so proud of her. And this is going to be the start of her new chapter. Going to the same school as Ray and, and possibly even being with him for the rest of her life. the love of my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Bye, Momo. Bye. Oh. You just want to protect that damn smile because she's just so precious. And she deserves everything. Damn, hell, this feels like the last episode. smile oh <laughs> stop it oh my god you guys no Jesus let's not no this was a good episode oh my god like seriously so happy for Hina. So, so happy she deserves this and everything because, oh God, like I never would have thought going into the second half of this series that the crap that Hina was going to go through and the bullying that she was going to have to endure day after day, week after week. But you know what? It was all like everything that happened to her. It was worth it because now she's smiling again and she got into this school and that's like, You know, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so fucking proud of this child. Like, she did it. Even with the help, and probably there were times where she did ish on her own, but she did it. Like, she's it's cool, and she's gonna be hanging out with him every day, and, oh god. 
Thanks for making me cry at 11, at 11 o'clock, at 10.31 in the uh, in the morning, at night. Oh my god. <laughs> like, his dad popping up in the last bit. Oh my god. This show too much, and I love it so much, and I hate the fact that we only got one episode left, and I have no clue how the hell this is going to end, and I'm scared. But honestly, even though we aren't done just yet, this has been a wild crazy hectic fun journey and I just hate the fact that it's over because it should just I just I th this needs to just I need this show to end on a high note. I mean, you give me this episode and we got one episode left before we're done. One, and then after that, that's it. There's no more episodes. I'll be moving on to my next show um, and such. And I'm really not ready to say goodbye to these characters and the story and everything because it feels like there has to be more. But I'm guessing maybe because at the time of when they were doing this... Um, Maybe the manga wasn't really 100% completed yet, and so they were like, okay, we're going to end it here. At not really a bad part, per se. I mean, because I've seen other mangas do this, I mean, other anime series do this before um, in the past and such, because some people will say, oh, if they ended, like, on a high note, it's okay, but if they ended on a low note, like, mmm, and such. And I really think this final episode will end really well tie everything else that we need to know every little unanswered questions that i have been wondering since episode one and a really nice neat bow but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for the final episode okay final episode and three two one go Oh, so your your stepmom basically, or your other your adopted mom. Oh, does that mean we're gonna see his his like adopted brother officially? can't even fit in the thing anymore, but it's so cute. Yeah, are we going to see him? Oh. That's good. He got out of the house. Yeah. Because in the end, he wasn't the problem. You guys were and how you felt about him. And happy too. Yeah. I thought he would be like the same age around Kyoko. Because... Kyoko's got to be like her in her early 20s. So Ray is like 16 maybe. 
Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, he can be the same age as I am. Though. You know what it makes me wonder? Like, we know how her dad feels about the relationship between her and what's his face. How does the mom feel? I mean, seriously. You dating an older man. Because what else could he do? Because he had Ray. Why have your own children do something when you have an adopted son that can do something, you know? Honestly, that doesn't surprise me. Hmm. It also makes you wonder, like, what if his adopted father gave his actual children the same relationship and loving and care that Ray received. I think the relationship between these three kids would have been a hell of a lot better than what it is now. No. I don't think it was your fault. Mainly a little bit of your husband's fault, but mm-mm. <laughs> he was a sweet kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A good kid who just had a lot of bad things happen to him. Thank God she admits that. Like, oh. Because what else could he say to you guys? Because it makes you wonder if his wife and Ayamo. I know it's Haruko, of course. The dog loves anyone no matter what. Look at him! Oh my god! Oh. But, you know, thinking about like Kyoko or anyone else, like. They were just jealous. Oh. Oh. It was nice to see him go home, though. I think this was something that I wanted, like, from the beginning, ever since episode one. In a way, this was his chance to just move on and be happy.
I don't see that was sweet. Oh, there's the opening! Because <laughs> I was like, oh, we're starting when we don't have an opening for the final episode. But the first eight minutes of that, that was good. That's how you start a finale episode. Like, oh my god. Like, mmm. That was good. He needed that. I needed that. I think everybody who was watching the show when this aired needed it and such. That was just, oh, so many good feelings. Basically one last hurrah. Hmm? Holy sh- <laughs> Congratulations, babe. It'll happen. Mm. Yeah. I love the fact that he's so positive about that. 
No. No matter how much, like, if you move somewhere else and come back, yeah, wherever you live will change, but the memories that you have will always be with you. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Good. It's a good. Cause it look good. Yeah, cause this is the last time you'll be with him. I mean, hell, remember the time when you had a crush on him? Yeah, cause you'll want to leave him off with a smile. You don't want to cry. Damn, next Saturday? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you look so pretty. baby <laughs> like yes let's go <laughs> Dude, we're almost done. Oh my god. <gasps> he even cut her hair! No, I just think... <sighs> I 
I think she just wants change and a new start. <laughs> First love. <laughs> First haircut. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And say hello to your new adult self. Is it bad? No, hold up, wait. Akari could fix it? Come on, let's see. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, damn. You look like Momo. You look like Coconut Head from... <laughs> school survival guide but it works it's cute you can take a um a flat iron oh my god uh, a flat iron curl it and everything oh shit <laughs> yeah you can style it oh that's so me don't say that Oh my god, get her a flat iron, please. Or a curler. Curling iron. Something so she can curl her hair. Oh my god. Oh, is that it? Hold up. Stop it. No freaking way. Okay, well, we got three minutes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Final thoughts on this show. I really love this show. This show was so good. I, I was expecting a little bit more for the finale, but I'm, I'm glad what, what we got. It was really good. I mean, mm. it was good. It was good. I'm hoping that this last little bit we get to see, um, you know, Hina, like, officially start her first day at school, and she's there with Ray, and how it kind of looks. Just them walking to the school and that's it. They can end it. And then maybe give me a little bit like, okay, hey, they dating. They doing something like that. But this show was really good. I mean, from episode one to the finale, everything about this show was so freaking good. And I hate the fact that this is over because it's done. There's nothing else. And it hurts so much. And it was just a damn good show. It made me laugh. It made me cry. I got angry. I mean, you know, I did a rant a couple of times with this show about certain things that pissed me off. Characters that pissed me off. And you know what? That's okay. Because that's that tells you how much I not only love this series, but how involved I got into this show. Because with some people reacting to some shows are just like quiet the whole time and it, hell when I started doing reactions I was fucking quiet I was scared that people weren't gonna like me because if the way I fucking talked <laughs> come on you can do it they should have at least styled her hair so pretty it suits her honestly she looks so mature yeah that's the love of your life <laughs> no no it's adorable and it suits you
Oh, they're sticking the... Oh, that's so cute. That was really good, honestly. Th I, I'm sorry. We got to put this as a 10 out of 10. This show was so freaking good. And I don't I don't see that to a lot of shows most often, you know. I mean, because, like, the show that won Anime of the Year uh, for, you know, last year. Well, really, yeah, for 20... We, we, yeah, 2020, 2021, yeah. <laughs> that is my other 10 out of 10 show and honestly this was so fucking good I loved everything about it oh god I, I hate the fact that we're done like it hurts like oh my god but to still end on a high note I would have loved to see more I would have loved to see Nakaido and um Smith and everyone else all be in this finale episode but I do like the fact that it just focused on what it started out in the beginning. It started with Ray and ended with Ray. It started with, you know, Akari, Hina, Momo, and their grandfather, and it also ended with them. They just, they did a whole loop through everything we've seen throughout this damn series, and they ended it with these characters. And I really, truly love that because not many shows usually start and end with the same character sometimes they you know they'll say like hey i'm gonna kill off a character and you're never gonna see this character again or we're gonna make this character go somewhere and yeah you may never see this character again and maybe like in the series finale or some shit you know that's when they officially kind of show someone but i really truly loved the way this show handled its characters the city the atmosphere everything the fucking music like oh my god like um, I think the song, my personal favorite song, the title of it, I think it's Whereabouts. Like, once I found, once someone told me what the name of the song was and they gave me the link to a video, I could not stop listening to that song. Like, any time when I'm on YouTube, if I'm just sitting, just chilling and out, since I have some AirPods and stuff besides using these bad boys, um... I'll just listen to it over and over again. I haven't used it with my earpods, so probably after I'm done editing this in the next video that I have to watch for another show, um, I definitely will watch, uh, listen to it over and over again. But I will truly miss the hell out of this show. I mean, this might be something that I could possibly show to my mom, but I think at the same time, I don't know if my mom could last like 40-something episodes. I mean, this is the same chick who watched like, I think, 39 episodes the whole complete series of death note and there's so many other shows that i want to show her like freaking code Geass, even though i don't think she's ready for code Geass. um maybe even maybe i'll show her grand blue or something i don't know yet because I, I want her to laugh at something uh before i show her something serious where characters once again get killed and ish but honestly this was a wild ride and i'm so happy that you know <laughs> the person who requested this show requested this because as I said, the as I said, this was on my Netflix queue for the longest time, and I was like, "There's gonna be a day that I'm gonna watch this. I don't know when, I don't know how, whatever day it's gonna come." But when that day came, and when somebody was like, "You know what? Yeah, enough waiting. Your Netflix queue is gone. I've looked at it, and I'm you're gonna watch this damn show." And so I, <laughs> I'm just really happy that you know someone really took out the chance and said yeah it's it's just time for you to watch this so honestly every show that like people have requested me to watch like honestly thank you because I think if I didn't have Patreons I don't even think I would have like necessarily the time to watch some of these shows that officially that I have been able to watch so yeah once again thank you so much this was a really damn good series to watch I have a feeling probably maybe one day who knows maybe even next week I may even go on Netflix just to rewatch some episodes and such and just to get those heartwarming moments again but 
and then maybe probably one day, you know, I'll probably rewatch the whole damn series again and cry my ass off. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entire series of March Comes In Like a Lion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for the start of my newest Patreon show. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.